When people say that Islam is a religion of peace, I suspect what they really mean is that it will be a religion of peace once everyone agrees with them. Or is, you know, dead. Probably killed because they didn't say that it was a religion of peace. But at the moment, while there, there is still a significant amount of Muslims who do kill people for not believing in Islam, I think it's safe to say that Islam is often the opposite to a religion of peace. And now, yes, yes, I know many people say, well, that's just the extremists, but if it really was a religion of peace, then surely its extremists wouldn't be devoting their life to killing people that didn't believe in Islam. No, surely instead extremists in a religion of peace would be being extremely peaceful and doing things like devoting their entire life to spending all day, every day, out on the street, dressed in a big friendly costume of Muhammad, asking for donations for the new huge department for the already huge university devoted solely to the emancipation and education of women. No, they'd be asking you to buy wristbands for children's health, endlessly going on about how important it is that women are allowed to wear whatever they want and they would be able to legitimately suggest you know when you're struggling and looking for guidance that you ask what would Muhammad do and for the answer not to be behead you for being a heretic and an infidel like this is what extremists in a religion of peace would do however this is not what we see Islamic extremists doing which means the only way that I can see that Islam really could become a religion of peace in the near future is if, well, they firstly really did kill everyone that didn't believe in Islam. And then secondly, if the two warring factions within Islam, the Sunnis and the Shiites, who hate each other, based on the fact that the Sunnis think that the first four people that succeeded the Prophet Muhammad were the legitimate religious leaders of Islam, whereas the Shiites think that only the heirs to the fourth person who succeeded the Prophet Muhammad are the real legitimate leaders of Islam. Basically, it's kind of like arguing about, you know, who was more loyal to the Rebel Alliance in Star Wars between Luke Skywalker and Han Solo, except much, much, MUCH less important. So yeah, after firstly killing anyone that doesn't believe in Islam, the Sunnis and the Shiites would have to end their war with one side completely wiping the other side out, and then, and only then, when there was no one left on the planet who believed in anything except for this one narrow myopic branch of Islam, could you truly call Islam a religion of peace? Well, for about five minutes anyway, until someone looked at somebody else funny and it all kicked off again. Just the son of a carpenter, and I don't want anything from ya except for your eternal love and devotion.